All right, what's going on, man? We're gonna do, uh, <clears throat> actually we're gonna pull my axle out. We replaced the CB boot before Dumont and uh, we crimped it. It was nice and tight. It ran for a few uh, trips, Pismo and Dumont, and then it started leaking. So the band just came loose and now it's shooting out grease. So bought a new clamp and we're gonna reclamp it. And we're gonna fix uh, my exhaust too as well. Oh right. yeah. We're gonna remount that. Let's do that. So I think that's uh, what we're gonna do today. Yeah. That's, that's what we're doing. Yep. Uh, we picked up some uh, CV grease. Uh, CV grease is different than regular grease. Mm -hmm. So I grabbed some of this, but that's what was available to us. He has the actual OEM clamp. Yep. I actually have some clamps as well that I used on my car, but OEM clamp is cooler, so we're going to use that. That's what I do. Let's pull this guy in. Let's do this thing. Let's do it. Oh, oh man. I hope I have a key. I can't even tell you guys. Hey, AC's running. For those of you that have told us over and over, don't worry about it, don't shut it off, we can't hear it. It's running, because I'm telling you, you get right to here, and it's not even a hot, hot day today, but it's hotter than I want to be. And here's a wall. It starts, let's see, cool air is about, it's creeping in, so cool air ends about here. Warm air starts about here, and a wall of warm air hits hard about right here. Check this out. My mom packed me a lunch today, too. Oh my god. Bologna sandwich and some chips. Better have to. Yes. Alright, we're gonna shut that door down and keep the cool air in. We're gonna stick a nice. We're gonna stick a jack. Uh, blocks side. on the side of the house. Should be stacks of all kinds of stuff. I've been thinning down and organizing into what we need. Alright. All right, we grab some blocks of wood. Basically, oh, uh, we should have sprayed that off. It's gonna be dirty. Oh, that's right. You wanna oh. spray it off real quick? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, we don't wanna get that dirty. We don't mind getting dirty, but that, that's lots of dirty. Yep. So we're gonna spray right. this off. So what's going on, man? <clears throat> Need to find your air gun. Uh, Plug in the air. Air gun, very bottom drawer. We're gonna pull this wheel off. So what we did is we just went out and sprayed this thing off because it was a dirty, greasy mess. I don't know if I showed you before, but there you go. It was like the rest of this in here. CV has been leaking, grease all over the place. All right, pull this wheel off and tear into this thing. What is he doing? For the plastic cap, the... Oh, yeah. I never like, I'm never a fan of this. Either. Actually, if you get a screwdriver? Yeah, I've done that before, but it's like a pain in the fucking ass. Let's just kind of pry those down. Yeah. Let's do that. It's easy, I'll just do this right here and... We'll do it? Mm-hmm, right there. There you go. Woo! Money. Yeah, uh, I'm not... I'm not a richer, but I do have some ideas. That's right. All right, so let's do this here. What are you doing now, Mr. Rancher? Mr. Rancher, gotta take the axle nut out. You have a 30? MW. <laughs> you have a 30? Man. I need a 30. What do we have? Thirty. Because I bought one for this very purpose. That's what I did. <laughs> Heather. Ouch. All right. I don't know. Dean Hoover said we should have a uh, e uh, ambulance on site. I told him I'm going to start a GoFundMe so I can hire, we can hire an EMT <clears throat> for on site. I checked into that. For them to be parked out here for three hours, it's 500 bucks. That's it? Mm hmm. Just for three hours. That's though. nothing compared to what we make off these videos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one's easy. Oh, yeah, that's a 
that thing came off easy. I don't think it's torque. No, I didn't have a torque wrench. I just like tightened it down before I went, so my bad. Okay, so we got we got a 15, we got the cover off. I don't know, it was just over there. Good job. Here's an impact too. Got that. All right, we got this guy. You want all the extensions, Danny likes. You uh, you got a swivel? You got swivels? Probably not. All the Harbor Freight shopping you do, you don't have any swivels? All the Harbor Freight ones break. That's why I don't have any. Hey, I'm a non-wrencher, but they work. I use them like twice a year. Well, if you <laughs> use them four times a year, they break. They break. <laughs> all right, how about I do this? Let's do it. I'm gonna need a shorter 15. Let me go see what you got. I'm gonna need a shorter 15 here. All right, and straight the next row over. All right, now we're gonna hit this whole nope. rear assembly apart. Oh, All right, right. so grab a regular ratchet right here. Yeah. I'll grab you one. It's a long Give me a 15 open in. Let's break them off right here. This guy. He's a wreck. All right, here you go. Here's a wrench, and here's a ratchet, just in case. Lefty Lucy. Wrong way. Huh? I know. Gotta go this way. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is where the non-wrencher comes in. Go. There we go. We're gonna get this apart, we'll come back and show you where we're at. What's going on, man? Okay, D. Alright, so we stopped videoing, we kind of jumped ahead, you know, just, <laughs> things are taken apart and off, and axle's out. Axle's over here. What we're gonna do here in a minute, I gotta grab something. What do you got, man? I'll show you. Alright, ready? This is my favorite recipe. <clears throat> Straighten this vise back out a little bit, clamp it down right here. my secret recipe. There you go. I don't have any soft jaws. So we're going to make some right there here. You go. So we're going to drop this axle in there. Oop, let me get on this side. There we go. I'm going to drop this axle in place right here. Because we're going to have to take this thing apart, check the CV, because we might, yeah, we we might have a bad CV. We were gonna put a clamp on it because it's spitting out some grease around the clamp quite a bit. But we'll start filling the CV. Yeah, it it's feels not, a little stiff and it kind of jumps around. It's so not, it does not feel right. And that wasn't the case in February. It, it went around smoothly. Yeah, might have got a little too dry. Probably. So let just me run it too hard, man. I can't get under it. Sweet. Let's see. If, let's see how empty this thing is. All right. Let's, let's pull see. this back and see. What oh, we're... she's empty. Well, it's not so much in there you're worried about. It's inside of here. Yeah, I know. On the CD, but at the same time, we just did like two mountain trips on that thing. I don't know. It wasn't really going that fast, but yeah, it I got hot and. I'd probably just buy a new axle one day and be done with it. Cause it's. It's not right. I mean, you, you can probably get that CV. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's where we're at. What do you want to do? Well, we're going to take a little quick break. I'm going to think about it. All right. I'm one of those guys that needs to think. We'll be right back. All right. All what right. do we got, buddy? What are we doing over here? OK, so what's going on is we got this uh, axle apart, and we're a little concerned about the CV because we might have run it too long dry. The other problem is that uh, it doesn't feel right. The other problem is that uh, the uh, clamp itself was super loose and it was an OEM clamp like right. this. So we're gonna try this one, but I have some backup backup clamps as well. Uh, I think we're gonna try this one because I don't know if I can do it with the tool I have. I got a question. What's, uh, can we use the OEM one and an aftermarket one together? Double clamp it? 
Yeah. Not enough room. How about a zip tie, just for backup? Zip tie. It's good to go. <laughs> zip tie we can do. We don't have the proper tool for this guy. Actually, this would still be a good one too. We don't have the proper tool for this guy. I'm going to order one later just so I have it. Uh, so for what, what we're going to do right now, I have these on my car. They've worked perfectly fine for us. So we're going to slide one of these guys on and call it good. Oh, as long as we get it tight, that's all that matters. And I'm going to rock it over. Uh, and then, I forgot, I mean, some covers. Give me ready? those red craftsmen. Uh, nope. Oh, that's the same thing. Now we're going to make sure that's tight enough. If it's tight enough, oh yeah. Because if you're working on this thing and you can't get a hold of it, it will cut you. And I roll them under. And then I smash them. Oh, you the man. Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's see how this feels. Spins. But it's not as it's not as loose as the OEM one. Like it. We like can like do it again. I'm gonna Because you're not going all the way tight because you don't wanna snap it. Well, like I, the first time? honestly, I think this thing may have been spinning and wore out the, that boot surface. Gotcha. I see what you're saying. Well, let's just put it on right now. <clears throat> we'll put it back on the car. Uh, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to do... Yeah. But let me see. Next trip is going to probably be probably about a couple weeks for a mountain trip. I can run it there. All and right. then order a new axle. Put that one in. And... We're gonna slide it back in the car, so let's do that. Yep. Let's do that. Let's go. Let's, let's knock that right down there. All right, we'll be right back. So look, Uriah got all crazy and he popped the axle in. We didn't even get to see it. He pulled it out. We didn't get to see it. Put it in. We didn't get to see it. Now we're gonna put this back together. What are you doing over there? What part of the assembly are you in? Oh, well, I'm just gonna kind of piece it together, you know? Yeah. Just go, you know. We're gonna have to go run slow. It. You know, go a little out of time. Let's do this. Alright, you know what? Let me get comfortable here. Uh -oh. Move some of this stuff out of the way. Uh -oh, the camera floor. makes me nervous. Like I've done this a couple times in my garage. And, and it went on pretty on. smooth. But then I go somewhere else and it's like I feel like I'm Yeah. I feel like somebody's watching me. They are. Alright, so let's put that. My bad. You don't know what I just did right now? I forgot to put my radius rod in. <laughs> oh, you're putting it. Yeah, I just slipped a freaking bolt in it. Yeah. I was like, you don't want that in there. That like, kind of, like it's kind of like three different parts at once you can put together. It's kind of a pain. It's kind of a pain. Oh, it's here. I don't think mine's been apart, the rear end of my car. Seriously? You gotta have all of your misalignments first here. Yep. Is that good? Oh, yeah. This is the aftermath of what happened right here just now. Aftermath. We're gonna clean this up before we have some more. We have some more projects coming up tomorrow. I don't know when that video will be online, but 
Uh, we're gonna clean this up tomorrow when we work on that project. Yes. But right now we're done for today. Yep, and we are, looks like <clears throat> the CV axle, I'm gonna have to keep this one as a spare. Yeah, we're a little concerned about the CV yeah. itself. Yeah, it's no good, it's no good. So, I was trying to convince myself, it's still good, it's still good, I could use it. But I'm gonna go order a new one. Yeah, and just do axle end to end, that way you have keep, both new CVs, fresh axle. Yep, keep this one in the trailer, you know, in the spare, and that's about it, so. But, uh, you know what, reach down there and see if, if that's any tighter. Oh, yeah, huh? Just out of curiosity. Oh yeah. Oh it, yeah. It turns a little bit, but it's, you gotta use a lot of force. Yeah. But, but it's a lot better. It's, yeah. A lot better. So anyway. So I'll keep this on to next year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing me, I'll probably just forget. Have well, a new axle on the phone. Don't box. have this axle. When you get that new axle, let's put it on. Don't yeah. have this axle on this car when we hit Glamis in October. Definitely. You don't want that. Definitely. And then tomorrow, we'll put like a little uh, little goodie on the front bumper tomorrow. Yeah. So that'll be fun. That's, like I said, that'll be a video that comes up uh, soon. So in the meantime, we're going to check out. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing if you already have. What, 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 what's the rest? The rest is subscribe, hit the like button, comment below, and thanks for viewing, guys. <laughs> I think I'm getting a little bit better at that, huh? All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Brandy said peace. All right. See you guys.